Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another video and uh, today I'm just going to show you what I picked up for the week as usual. Uh, today is Sunday, I had to work today, boohoo, but I am off tomorrow for Labor Day, so that's pretty sweet. Um, I had off yesterday too, so I just had to work this one day this weekend. And um, so anyway, I didn't really do much this weekend, but I got a few things, enough things to make a video, so I'm going to show you... Uh, what I uh, what has been added to the collection this week. So first off, we'll just show off this real quick. Custom Challenger looks pretty sweet. Uh, this is another one with LED lights. This time I went with just uh, halos in the center and kept the outsides full brightness. So looks pretty cool. So this is the third one of these that I made. Of course, the first one went to Jimmy Mitchell 24/7, which he showed on his channel this last week. And the other one went to uh, Diecast Hero Customs, and he showed it on his channel this last week. So go check them out and see those other two customs. One of them is a sublime green one. That's the one that went to uh, Diecast Hero Customs. And the other one is the murdered out black one with the green halo lights that looks awesome. And that one went to uh, Jimmy Mitchell. So check those out. And then here's the one for me. Still don't have really any good um, wheels to put on this. So right now it's still got the stock guys, but pretty cool the stock ones because it rolls really well so anyway there's that custom other than that no other customs to show you progress to show you in anything so there's those um let's see here so in uh, chronological order of how i found stuff here starting with i found some matchbox some new matchbox i'll show those to you real quick we got the uh 13 ford cargo picked up that guy for whatever reason it's kind of neat to afford so I picked that up picked up this Land Rover Defender shout out to Dano 1061 Land Rover let me know if you can't find this one and I'll hook you up with this guy so there's that um, Lamborghini LM002 this is kind of neat it's in like a kind of like a satin red finish and it's got detail on the back and the front. So there's that. We got the uh, 15 Chrysler 300. There's that. Looking pretty nice. You got detail on the rear and the front. Nice licensed model from Matchbox. Not terribly excited about that car in particular. but uh, and Then we got an Infiniti G37 Coupe. This one's pretty nice. Again, the detail on the front and the back. Just a nice, realistic-looking car. Looks really good. So there's that. And then I got uh, doubles of these. Um, the 15 Ram 1500 Police. Which is that guy there. And we can crack one of those. Let's crack, uh, let's crack this one. Take a little closer look at it. So there's that. Pretty nice casting. Not really any detail on the rear or the uh, front of this one, but it's got some pretty cool tampos. It's the National uh, Forest Ranger tampos. Pretty nice looking realistic truck. So there's that. And then um, the 14 Chevy Silverado 1500. Picked up uh, two of those so I could crack one. Because I have... I have all these 1500s so far that they put out, and I've got them all loose. No detail on the front or back of this one. You get some was up tampos, was up, was up elevator service. Real cool. So there's that. Another cool, nice look, looking truck. Um, and then I found a 66 Dodge A100. Found one of these guys at my Walmart, pretty sweet, leave it carded for now, uh, probably end up cracking it. Then I went to uh, Toys R Us yesterday and I picked up this guy, Florida Highway P Patrol, picked up this for my buddy Angel, AR Hotbox, and he was looking for this one so I saw it and I grabbed it, it's pretty sweet looking though, I almost want to keep it because it is really cool looking, but no, it's going to you Angel. 
That's pretty cool. And then uh, today, or yesterday, my buddy Todd went hunting um, up in Green Bay, which is north of uh, here, and uh, scored some stuff for me. So that's pretty awesome. He scored, and then he came by my work today and actually dropped it off. So I got uh, the Nightburners 5-pack that a lot of people are after. So we're going to go ahead and crack that right away. You know why everybody's going for it? Because of this Skyline. And I do admit, I like the Skyline. I am a Skyline fan. I did play a lot of Gran Turismo back in the day. And Skylines were definitely hot cars to drive on that game. And uh, didn't even know what a Skyline was until that game. Um, but yeah, so pretty cool car. Got that one. And then, of course, it comes with... What is this? Chrysler 300C. The plastic body. Kind of lame. Um, this is the Pony Up. Meh. Whatever. Uh, the Audacious. Which kind of looks like a hot hatch-ish. Just an unlicensed model. Though. So there's that. And then a, a Volkswagen New Beetle Cup. I'm not a big fan of New Beetles, but uh, this does look pretty cool, actually, in this in this scheme. Even with the uh, green-tinted windshield. So, there's that. I mean, really, there's your $5 car right there. That's why people are going to buy them. So, Mattel knows what they're doing. Put a desirable casting in with some non-desirables. So, whatever. Uh, so, that is what it is, but that's that. Um, then he also picked me up one of these V-Dub series, Beetles. This is a really cool one with flames. I'm not going to crack it right now. All my V-Dub series cars are still carded, and maybe one of these days we'll do a little cracking party and open all of them. Um, but this is the only one I got out of the newest series. There was all of them there. The other Beetle was all messed up, though, and I didn't message him back um, in time to let him know I wanted all of the rest of them. I wanted all the buses. Uh, so he had left already, and unfortunately, I didn't, this is the only one that he picked up because he thought, well, if I didn't want it, he thought it was cool enough for him to put it in his collection. So, But of course I wanted it. It's awesome. So there that is. And then um, he also picked me up New Auto World Firebird. This is pretty sweet. So this one we are going to open up. Love Auto World. You know, I wish they would do, just like everybody else, I wish they would do a more variety of castings other than just American cars. You know, do everything. Get licenses for everything. It would be awesome to see them do it. Just because these castings are typically top notch. And I don't know if I can get that hood open right now. It's pretty tight. So probably have to get a toothpick or something to get that open for the first time. Yeah, that's not opening right now. So, anyway, there is a detailed engine under there. And I'm trying to get every single one of these that came out. Interestingly enough, this is the only one so far I think that's come out without the fire chicken on the hood. So, it's pretty cool. And uh, there that is. Really, really like this car. Really dig it. Really want the ultra red of it. It would be so awesome to get any one of the versions of the ultra red of it. So I will trade for those if anybody's got one up for trade. And let's see here. Then he picked me up. Or he bought a Matchbox case. He buys all these vintage Matchbox cases off of eBay all the time. And they always come with lots of cars. Um, and then he kind of gives me the ones he thinks I would like. So he just gave me this Trans Am. Pretty sweet. It's a Yatming. And uh, it's got opening doors. Pretty cool. It's in fairly decent shape. It says Billy Joel McKay, owner and operator. Milwaukee, Wisconsin on the back. I wonder if he even realized that it said that, but that's pretty cool. Milwaukee's a town just south of me. So that's pretty neat. That's really cool. Is that a sticker? No, I think that's... That's like tampoed on there, so, hmm, interesting. 
So there's that, Yatming, and then a Kitco Keycar Trans Am. This one's in actually pretty decent shape. I mean, these things were just shot off the key and then just went flying everywhere, so it's hard to find them in really good shape. But there's just another Firebird for the collection. So, pretty cool. And that's pretty much it. So, highlight, of course, for me is probably this Trans Am. I really, really dig this car, um, even in this kind of yellow color but uh, whatever so there's that and then of course the the customs that I sent out were awesome and this one's cool too I just got to find some cool wheels for it so I can finish that one up and uh, that's pretty much it besides the matchbox and stuff I picked up so anyway thank you guys for sticking with me another week um, I'm just gonna keep doing this until I don't have anything to show you which I didn't think I was gonna have anything to show you this week and I ended up getting some stuff so it's just the way it goes uh, but anyway you guys have a great day oh and i also found the truck series and i did a video on that forgot to mention that whatever but and i won a raffle this week so i don't know stuff is always happening in this hobby it's fun so anyway enjoy your day Bye bye